be chefing. Dun, 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 dun. I be chefing. Uh, yeah. What y'all know about that Run DMC? This is day four. Day four. We in action, baby. We moving. Day four. If you haven't had the opportunity to check out days one, two, and three of the five day course meal that we're doing over a period of five days, please check it out. Check out the link below and you will enjoy something scrumptious on this Christmas, during this Christmas season, during this Christmas holiday. Again, I be chefing from Ross's kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy day four. Let's go. Get our olive oil in our pan, got a pan that's heated on medium heat once again. We're going to go ahead and start off with our, with our peppered steak. I'll go ahead and throw all of that in there. Even we cook our steak, shouldn't take long because it's cut into nice thin slices. You can cook your steak however you like. Some people might want it medium well or but for this steak we're going well done. Alright? But not well done to the point where it's burnt. We want a still nice good juicy steak where it won't be too tough. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is of course I turned the heat up a little bit so we could put a little bit of the uh, the uh, water could evaporate off of the steak. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our onions. And you can be as liberal as you want with your onions. I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm going to add my uh, green peppers next. Go ahead and add those in. And the onions jumping out of that pepper steak. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my Peppers, green peppers. All right, it is peppered steak, so we have our green peppers in there. Let me mix this around. Man, that looks amazing. See how bright the colors look in there along with that steak. Really just brings it out with the tomatoes and onions. It's going to give it a nice flavor too. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is, now that we mixed all this, we're going to take our, we're going to take our soy sauce and our cornstarch together that we have here that I've mixed up, and we're going to go ahead and evenly disperse it over, over the pan. And what this is going to do is not only is it going to give it flavor once again, but it's also going to help this product thicken up, and of course give it a nice glossy look. So we're going to, what you want to do is you want to make sure you try to flip all of your meat and ingredients inside of the soy sauce and inside of the cornstarch as well. You want to add a little water in the pan to it because it is going to thicken up because of the cornstarch. Not too much. You don't want to take away from it. But you still want to have that nice little juiciness about it. I'm going to try to get every piece in there. Yeah, just a little bit more. I think we'll call it quits on the water. Alright. Alright, we're going to mix all this together. Now I think we're about ready to plate this. Put this over a nice bed of rice. And there we have it. Now we're going to take our pepper steak and we're going to put it over our rice. Yeah, but 
black pepper steak over rice. Ross's Kitchen to your kitchen.